Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and we are bringing you week five of our PML draft. Sorry for that shaky introduction, but this is Zamora Gaming, and we have our week five battle against Devin from Globber and Devin. Uh, his link will be in the description below, so go check him out. He does VGC videos and whatnot. So, he might bring some pretty interesting sets, he said today. Uh, we talked a little bit before the battle, and uh, I'm pretty confident in uh, in what we're bringing this week. Last week, we, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we did last week, but uh, it's, it's not what was needed for the win. Over prepping for bonds that were most likely not coming and you know little things like that in prep that lost us the game at the end because uh, we weren't prepared to battle what we were facing in front of us so we're gonna attack this week a little bit differently than we do our most weeks uh, normally we start off slow and build up for our sweeper this week um, we're gonna lead off punching him in the mouth hopefully with slurp buff belly drum set that we shot probably should have brought last week but I was hesitant and I was really hoping Lycanroc could sweep up the game and um, so that's how we're gonna start off the battle I get uh, leading with the sweeper isn't the best idea but we have a second sweeper in uh, Leonardo so that means Blastoise shell smash is finally coming to the battle and he pretty much brought everything I thought he would. Uh, Comfey is a little annoying, so I did bring a utility Charizard rather than the all-out attacking one that I normally bring. And also, uh, Berserker is kind of a Pokemon to handle that as well. If Venusaur doesn't have Earth Power, um, Berserker pretty much is free to pretty much free to do what he wants against this team because he is AV so that'll drop those uh, special attacks in half and he's already naturally defensively bulky so I don't think Drapion would be too big of a problem for us um, let's see T spikes could be an issue but we're gonna we do have defog on Charizard so we will have a way to get them off if needed it will be interesting to say the least to try to get those things off the field but evidently we will need them off to uh, set up the Blastoise in the back if that we're going to end up doing that so again Devin's really good I believe he's undefeated I could be wrong if he's played uh, what's his name if he's played the Los Angeles Kings then that means he's been defeated, but I don't think they play till next week. So we just lost. So let's hope we can get a good revenge game here. All right. So I guess he kind of expected the lead slurp buff with the sticky webs from last week. So he's probably trying to keep us off the field there. But are we afraid of this thing? I'm going to play it safe for now. Go to Berserker. And he's probably just going to get T-Spikes up. But if he does attack, then we're good. I probably should have went Charizard here. Because that Earthquake could could do a damage to us. Good, could do a number to us, I should say. So let's see how this goes. So I guess I'm kind of bluffing here that I am the sticky web set. But we for sure didn't want um, to take a hit there. Alright, so that's kind of annoying. Knockoff is clearly going to hurt us at the long run. Um, let's just go ahead and go for a U-turn. I don't think he stays in here. He probably switches to something else. Yeah, beautiful. All right, and he goes to Evergreen here. 
So we get U-turn chip off, and we're going to go straight back into slurp buff. So there's no uh, knockoff threat. We could take a sludge bomb. And facade, I mean, for sure knocks it out by this point. But Play Rough and Drain Punch wouldn't have done enough damage. And I mean, obviously, uh, Comfey could easily come in and revenge kill us. But I'm not too worried about it. Oh my gosh, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Alright, so we don't get Belly Drum off, so that kind of sucks for us. Just going to go Facade here. Yeah, that blows. There goes our Punch in the Mouth set. <laughs> oh well, we, we still have a plan. So we'll let him knock us out here. We'll go Charizard. I assume he'll go comfy at that point and then we'll get the toxic off on it but that's just me assuming so slurp buff goes down that that plan clearly backfired didn't work <laughs> and sadly we lost our AV on berserker Okay, so Undertaker comes in, and I'm just going to Air Slash. We did not bring Flamethrowers solely for the fact that too many Dark Types on his team were prevalent to bring a Fighting Type move, so Focus Splash was the coverage for that. Okay, Evergreen goes out, and does he go to the Comfey? Nope, does not. All right, so Air Slash comes off here. And we don't want to lose our Charizard just yet because this is our main counter to the Comfey. So, I mean, at this point, Berserker is really not going to help us without the AV. But he probably sees this coming and goes for the Earthquake, which is fine. Okay, Stealth Rocks. That's not too bad. Our team doesn't really get affected by that. We have no Sash Pokemon. And let's see. We have no Sash Pokemon. And Charizard has heavy duty boots. So, not too worried about it. Okay, he's taking his time here to figure out what he wants to do. We're not, we have no speed investment, but we're still faster than Sandy. Uh, and um, Iron Head would do a good amount of damage to it. So Evergreen comes back out. Probably from that health, we could probably knock it out, but we'll just have to see. Alright, so we do get the knockout. Beautiful. Maybe you assumed I was going to go for something else there. All right, so we're pretty much evened up right now, one and one, and a tough battle as I thought it would be. Come on, who are you going to? Taking a long time to make this pick, but we'll see what he he ends up going to. And sorry if my music's a little too loud. I'm gonna lower it down just a bit. Just to be on the safe side that you couldn't hear me very well. <sighs> Come on, dude. You're taking all 60 seconds to pick a Pokemon. Okay, so here we're going to go Goddard. And there's no Porygon Z. 
So I'm pretty much free to uh, shadow ball. Well, with sand up, our our special attack is doubled, but still, I, I still don't think we live a thunderbolt or anything. And honestly, with um, with Venusaur out, our can we just thunderbolt everything? And is he, uh, is he Lightning Rod? I don't think he is. We'll see. But he went straight for the Volt Switch, so maybe he's Specs as well. But we are Specs, so whatever comes in here is going to get hit pretty hard. And then if he's not Lightning Rod, uh, I think it's a two-hit KO on Raichu. Okay, so he goes for Quick Attack. I go for Thunderbolt. And he's not Lightning Rod. So that's fine. Okay, so it's a three-hit KO. My bad. But we can we can do with that. Let's just keep Thunderbolting. Ooh, there we go. He goes for a Reversal here. I wonder if that takes us out. Nope. Not quite. Good tech. But reversal is not enough. So Thunderbolt should take out the Raichu here. And then we can smack something with Thunderbolt before we get knocked out. Unless the Kunfei comes in. If the Kunfei comes in, I'm going to go straight to Charizard. And Toxic the thing. Hopefully it didn't bring Hill Bell. Okay, so he's saving his right to for differential, I'm assuming. And Sandy comes in, he's gonna take a big hit. It's only rock type, so it can't it's not immune to my Thunderbolt. But it does get the the special defense boost thanks to sand. So that is a good amount. So question is do we sack off here? Because Goddard, I mean, it could be vital for the Togekiss. But I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and go Berserker. I mean, it's going to go Earthquake, so I, I, that's kind of a sack. But it's it's okay. Oh, so it goes Stone Edge. It must have not brought Earthquake. And we he, we avoid the hit. So that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. A little break for us this week. And I'm just going to go Iron Head because I'm not afraid of Raichu. It's not going to live it, live the hit. And we knock this thing out from this range. So we got some pretty good offensive pressure going on right here. Living legend. Yeah, so he's gonna sack off Ryzen here. Alright. Tough claws, iron head. Adamant, baby. Alright, so who does he bring out here? Does he go comfy? Cause if he goes comfy, I'm staying in and clicking iron head. The only thing I'm really nervous about is him uh, going Togagus here. Okay, so Crimson comes in. And... Let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, 
I think Undertaker is less viable for our team than Berserker is. So we're going to go ahead and make that switch. Hopefully he goes Earthquake here so we get the free switch. Oh boy. This is a stressful game. Go Earthquake. Knock off. Okay. He might not have Earthquake. Either that or he just knew I was going to switch. Okay. So the question here is do we go... Do we go... I'm going to go for the Air Slash Flinch. We're faster than this thing. Oh, no, we're not. He's scarfed. He is scarfed. That is good for us to know. Alright, time to sweep, baby. He's going to knock off our white herb, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, this is where boys become men. Shell smash time. Yep, goes for knockoff. Knocked off our white herb. Shell smash pops off. Who boy, it is time. I'm going to go for Waterfall. Does he Dynamax here? No, he doesn't Dynamax. I don't think he wastes Dynamax on this thing. Knock off again. We living. Oh, and our Sweeper is not going to take it out. Damn. Oh, good thing we didn't waste our Dynamax there. That sucks. Okay. Hmm. Scarf Drapion. Annoying. Alright, we're gonna go Lone Wolf here. And we're just gonna go safe. We're gonna go Excel Rock since he's scarfed, of course. And I think, honestly, Lycanroc could sweep up the game from here. I still gave it the coverage moves it needs. I know there's two fairy types in the back. We have Iron Head, and we still need a Dynamax, so. Uh. <sighs> regular Iron Head knocks out a regular Comfey. Straight up. Tough Cloud's Life Orb. Togekiss gets knocked out, I'm sure. Because, I mean, I know it's bulky, but come on, can it really take a hit like that? Then I'm not sure what he has in the back after that. I, I forget what it was. But I'm Dynamaxing this next turn. I don't care what he does. Joyful. Okay, so that's a comfy. I ain't even gonna play prediction games. Oh yeah, Ironhead sweeps his team. Max Steel Spike. Let's go. I mean, if he Dynamaxes, it could, but if we'd still outspeed and win. It doesn't matter. If he Dynamaxes, I don't think Triage works anymore. Uh, it makes uh, it makes the healing attacks go first, plus five priority. I think it's ridiculous. Oh. 
Woo! Let's go, like and rock. Max still spike, so he didn't go for a healing move, but it doesn't matter. Astra goes down. Comfey, the bane of my existence, is gone. And our defense raises. And I'm just clicking Iron Head. Well, Max Steel. I think we can leave live anything from the Togekiss except the Max Knuckle. Oh, he's actually going Sandy here. That's fine. I'm cool with it. Let's go Max Knuckle here. This will take this thing out and give me an attack boost. Oh, let's see if it still takes this thing out. I don't think he has a ground type move though. And he's actually boosting our special defense against the Togekiss too. So this is weird that he's actually Dynamaxing Sandy here. Ah, oh, Max Guard, he's stalling us out. Well, hopefully he doesn't get two. I think he's going to play for timer, but we have more Pokemon. So I don't know why he's doing this. I guess just differential. Okay, so we don't take him out, but I don't think he takes us out with anything, unless he does have the ground move. But our defense is up by one. Okay, so he goes for a max knuckle himself, but our defense is plus one. We should be fine. And close combat is stronger than max knuckle. So I think we take it out here. Yes, and we do. So our defenses drop again, but we still have sand to help us against this uh, against this toga kiss here. And it looks like our battle does come down to timer. And I don't think Excel Rock knocks out a toga kiss. Bike and rock. Dust all out attacker. Toga kiss. Plus one. No, it doesn't. I mean, no matter what, we win. So I'm just going to go stone edge here. Oh, I should have won iron head. Oh, well. Oh, it didn't even get us a chance to do the move. All right. Well, GG, Devin. We win three to one timer. I'm sure the, the Stone Edge would have knocked it out, though. Yeah, for sure knocks it out. But, you know, GG to Devin. We were naturally faster. So, it is what it is for week five. We move on to four and one. And, Devin, best of luck to you next week. And we next week, we do have a bye week due to a team dropping out. So... You won't see a battle for me next week, but I will be streaming on Facebook Wednesdays and Saturdays. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for your support, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.